What's going on everybody? Z-Man the Tech here. I want to thank you again for tuning in to Snowy Games. Really appreciate that. As you can see, uh, I've been trying to spruce things up a little bit as far as uh, the quality and um, you know just the presentation in general. Uh, Wifey uh, hooked it up with an HD camera um, and a green screen, which I actually need to look up a little more information on to uh, figure out how to implement. But you know, baby steps. Uh, and I'm also using the OBS program, trying to get a feel for that. Uh, but yeah, uh, today, as you can see, we're going to be taking a look at Bunker Punks. Um, it is an indie game that is a first-person shooter, roguelike, straight up. I guess you could consider it kind of a first-person shooter roguelike dungeon crawler, uh, but it's more about, uh, yeah, it's about the same. It's, uh, it's categorized as floors um, in each area that you uh, basically run through them, grab all the loot that you can, um, and you can eventually, you know, I believe you can use those parts or uh, sell the whatever loot you don't need uh, to kind of upgrade your person. Uh, out of these characters that you see here. Uh, when you first start, you only have access to a couple of them um, from what I've seen so far. But uh, this isn't so much of a review, but more of a gameplay, kind of like a let's play, show you what to expect in this in this game. Uh, right now, as far as I know, it's only on Steam. Um, and I did reach out to the uh, developer today, actually, as a matter of fact, and he did mention that uh, there aren't really any plans to uh, kind of bring it to consoles or anything like that. Gamepad controls are being implemented, but um, it isn't really going to be a focal point as far as full controller support. Um, just throwing that out there. But I did actually reach out to him. Really cool guy. Um, definitely appreciate uh, all the work thus far that's been put into this game. But without much further ado, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. I'm actually going to do a new game. We'll do normal. All right, so out of the two, we have Molly Pop, who is a well-rounded pistol slinger. Sign me up. And we have Dallas Beach, uh, who is a shotgun-loving heavy hitter, uh, so put. Um, also, you can see uh, spec or special is actually uh, shown underneath. Uh, One-shot shield. Let's go. And for her, it's a step back. I haven't actually tried hers. Um, I'm just still kind of getting the swing of this game um, because I've had it for a while, but I kind of just really meh, just rather jumped in and um, I kind of wanted to take a little bit closer look. Um, she has she starts off with a little bit more life and a little bit of armor Dynamite compared to uh, Dallas, but uh, actually she has he has no armor <laughs> when he starts. Uh, Let's go. But yeah, um, I'm not so much of a pistol person. Don't mess with um, Texas. There are other weapons in the game, but basically we're kind of just going to... I'll give you an idea of what to expect. We'll go with uh, Molly Pop first. As it says there, she's definitely more of a pistol slinger, but uh, like I said, there are other weapons like assault rifles, things like that, rocket launchers. Um, each particular player has their own preference, and the damage is the damage levels are basically kind of affected by that as far as the uh, intensity of those hits when you are attacking enemies um it looks to be that you're attacking uh oh and apologies if you need to pause at any time to go ahead and read this uh, please feel free to do so um it actually runs this little prologue if you will uh each playthrough um because like i said it is a roguelike so you, you, you will start over quite a bit. It's a lot of trial and error. But uh, yeah, if you need to pause it, please feel free to do that uh, to catch up to that. And all right, let's go ahead and get it started. This is Molly Pop. I'm going in. All right. Okay. They like to kind of bombard you in the beginning if you let them. So just be careful with that. Come here. I'm going to go ahead and grab the shotgun. As I said, she specializes in uh, handguns, but right now, or as far as I've seen, the uh, the shotguns really seems to be the one holding it down um, as far as being able to protect yourself the best. Um, I'll switch to this just to show you. Got it. Each, each weapon that you uh, swap out, they do remain, so it's pretty cool. You can always go back and change it. They don't disappear on you. Uh, so I do like that about the game. Oh, 
as you can see, these are considerably weaker. Um, I'm actually going to go back and get my uh, shotgun. Lock and load. And typically, like any other classic uh, FPS, I find it better to just kind of roll through as fast as you can without stopping, or keep stopping to a minimal, um, and you and you'll tend to be okay as far as how many uh, hits you take in. Sorry, my aim is really bad right now. <laughs> All about that loot, just grab and go. Let's see. Step back. Okay. And anything like a container or anything like that that you see, definitely uh, grab that. Or shoot it, rather. Because it's going to have a good bit of loot in it, most likely. Now, it looks like this floor is already good to exit. But definitely make sure that you've uh, that you've went through every nook and cranny. Because you're going to miss out on loot. So it's like super crucial in this game to be able to, uh, you know, better your character. So I'm actually back at the beginning. I need to swing it on back here. Yeah, I'm not really messing with those assault rifles too much. Uh, like I said, each each uh, weapon can be upgraded to be stronger. Um, it's just typically those ones that have a weaker output, but you get a lot of bullets. They keep you having to search for ammo. And uh, I, I just... I typically like something that's kind of like, not, if not a one-hitter quitter, then as least shots as possible with a good am amount of strength. And that's, for right now, it seems to be either the uh, shotgun or the rocket launcher that have done that for me. But again, it's it's to each his own. All right. Boom, we did pretty good that time. Like I said, it's all randomized. If I hadn't said that before, uh, the, these uh, dungeon slash floors are randomized as well. So it's never the same. Um, so basically, if you, um, I want to say, sometimes you might not get a good, you know, when it's randomized like that, you might not get a good uh, selection of weapons or, or whatever. You know, sometimes it's just best to restart um, in a lot of these uh, roguelike games. Here we go. See you up there. If you get too close to those particular bots, they will explode on you, so be careful with that. And those flyer drones, they seem to, uh, uh, the most they'll do is, uh, they'll, they actually shoot at you. Um, but they're kind of slow, so you can, you should be able to kind of maneuver around them. Um, now the ones that explode on you, uh, they tend to uh, draw draw near um, a lot quicker than the drones, so <laughs> be careful with those. Oh, so you gotta, like I said, you gotta move quick. I, I procrastinated on that and I missed out on some health, but I, I'm actually okay on that right now, so let's see. I see you. Waiting to catch me around the corner so you can blow up on me real quick. Oh! Okay. There is a jump button as well. Uh, I haven't really got to found the need to oh, to jump too much, uh, but there there are definitely situations where you need to do so. Love the soundtrack too, by the way. Very cool. Definitely fits the skin. 
kind of gives me that Terminator industrial robotic vibe to it. <laughs> oh, ooh, whoa. What's up? It must really hurt her because she was breathing hard. Boom. So yeah, you see any plants? You never know what's gonna pop out of it. Boom. There you go. Got ten credits. Okay. Okay. Three health. I'll take it. I think we're pretty much good um, on this floor. So let's go ahead and exit out. Free and clear. All right. Return to HQ. We're doing pretty good, y'all. We're doing pretty good. All right, so basically when you get back to this screen after a after you do a set of floors or dungeons, whatever you want to call them, you're going to have these two areas, one on the left, one on the right. <coughs> oh, sorry, left, right. That was backwards. Um, and uh, basically, you're going to see a little hammer. You click that, and you're going to choose from one of the two types of upgrades. Uh, based, on, based on the amount of credits that you have, that's how you can... Uh, you'll be able to upgrade further. Now, once you choose one of these, uh, it's actually going to default at that on this particular side. Um, this side being, whether it's gonna be uh, affecting fire, firing range or anything like that, anything to do with your firearms, and this side being your health. Uh, I'm gonna keep, I'm, just for the sake of doing it, I'm gonna do the uh, gun upgrades on this one. Let's see here, increased damage with pistols and handguns, increased damage with shotgun type weapons. All right. Um, I'm not sure how many I could do. I mean, I have, I definitely have enough credits, so I want to do the shotguns. I use that the most. Oop. Uh, okay, we're gonna do health over here. Now we could uh, increase the max health of all the punks, or we could uh, let's see, punk punks heal when you tr when they uh, do combo attacks. Uh, I need my glasses on apparently. <laughs> I actually took them off. Uh, anywho, um, max health or the heal with combos. Since you're going to be shooting quite a few enemies at a time, I think we can... Oh, that's right. I don't have enough. I, now I don't have enough for that. I think I upgraded the gun too much. So uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and uh, increase max health and then save the rest of the credits we get. See if we can uh, boost up or give the, uh, the effect of uh, gaining health when doing combos. So that's my oops. I kind of double clicked over here on accident. <laughs> oh, okay. We got another one. Bullseye. Let's see. Increased damage with pistols and handguns. That's that's fair. I'm cool with that. Yeah. All these are about the same right now. Quarters. When your punk sleep. Can't do anything with that right now. Um, okay. When you're ready to start the next mit. Uh, the next uh, kind of raid, you just click on raid, or there's a store section, which I don't have much, I'm not sure how much money I have, let's, let's go to the store, let's see, it's bad, but I've seen worse, way worse, life out on the wastes isn't as bad as they said, okay, so, I got about 45, oh, that, those are credits, okay, This is for life. But if we want to upgrade to something over here, we can do that. <laughs> Skate shoes. Improves melee damage and provides light armor. Okay. Well. Yeah, I don't have enough to get the, the jacket. I would have got that jacket. Um, but for the sake of uh, nice. keeping the health good, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to back out. We're going to go back in. To raid. Have I raided that? That's one thing I would like to <coughs> have a little bit better understanding of is where I started. I didn't really get a chance to see where I started here. Uh, defense hub, security, security, medical, all medical. I guess it's kind of either or. You can do, you can go for wherever. I just don't want to do the same one over again. Let's go ahead and do this one. All right, and we'll probably end the gameplay after this. We're we're just actually scraping um, 15 minutes here, so 
Um, but I think you get the gist of it. Uh, it's definitely um, really addicting when it comes to uh, the style of play uh, roguelites usually are, which is cool. There's definitely nothing wrong with that. Uh, just definitely allocate enough time towards it. I would say that, um, or unless if you have free, if you have the free time to spare, you know, chug away. Concentrate, Molly. Or plug away at it. You should I say? That means I'm ready for a drink. <laughs> Not sure where that came from. I'm probably uh, wanting a drink right now. Wasn't too too long of a day today, or bad of one either. But uh, we got a different type of uh, enemies here. That's for damn sure. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Come on. And now my keyboard tray wants to slide in on accident out of nowhere. Okay, those explode. That's pretty good. Cool. Uh, any yeah, anything like that that you see that will explode. You can use that to your advantage as well, including the uh, the bots that explode on you. There's devices and just items, things like that, that will explode upon contact. I need them credits. Oh, watch out. Jesus, come on. They will back you into a corner, so be careful. Boom. There you go. So right about now, it'd be good to get some health. <laughs> oh! Don't do it. Come on, man. Give me a break. I don't want that. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. I'm making some really bad mistakes here. My reaction speed's not very great right now. kind of scrubbing the ground waiting on me. I couldn't even really see it that time. Oh, they got me. Man, I was doing pretty good. I thought I was. <laughs> Killed by a watcher. Molly Pot will always be remembered for her bravery and dedication to the, to the cause. That's, that's adorable. That's, that's cute. But they want to... Yeah, I feel some kind of way about that. I do. But. I don't want to quit the next menu. Well, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and end it here. We're at 18 minutes. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, Bunker Punks. Um, definitely go check that out on Steam. Uh, if it's your, if it's your, you know, if roguelites and um, first-person shooters and kind of a retro style, retro aesthetic, uh, graphical format is, is, is kind of your cup of tea or or your, your forte then definitely um, check this game out or even if not it's a if you give it a chance um, and you're not in this particular kind of genre uh, I think this is one of those games that could kind of pull you in for sure um, but yeah definitely like comment subscribe if you haven't already um, yeah and definitely if you have any uh, any more suggestions and things like that uh, if you if you if you like this format of, uh, of me, me being able to uh, go ahead and incorporate the, the visuals of myself um, while playing the game, um, or if you prefer just to hear my voice, uh, you know, definitely drop some comments down below, um, or just in general, if you like what you saw, for sure, definitely do that. Um, but yeah, thanks again, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day slash morning slash evening, wherever you are. Thanks.